Snickers or Twix? Uh, I'm good, thank you. <laughs> this is what I wake up to every morning. Mark is saying, Snickers or Twix ice cream. <laughs> good morning. Yeah, by the way, good morning. We have started the day in like a kick-ass mode. Like we woke up and just went for it because we have energy again, which is awesome. So the first thing we did was that we booked a hotel tonight in New York. So we have a place to sleep. We're getting good, like booking for in advance. Once, yeah. Um, then we upgraded our tickets to New York. So I think we're gonna fly in a bigger seat, which is gonna be awesome. Yes. Number three is that we booked a new ticket to Europe, flying straight to Stockholm instead of to Monaco. Cause so they, we have two tickets to Europe. Yeah, but one of them is in a bigger seat going straight to Stockholm. <laughs> Yes. And then I signed up for, um, what did I sign up for? I signed up for a bunch of different uh, frequent flyer programs. So now I have Miles and Moore, Chris Flyer with Singapore, Sky Emirates, United, and that's it. So now, now I can collect points. We're trying to optimize our travel. So with that said, I think we should maybe start packing once you're done with the ice cream. And we have a lot of shit to back. We have a lot of gear, new bags and a lot of new stuff, but still I can only find two t-shirts and one pair of boxers. Yeah. Problem. So we have to go shopping in New York in. And I have no socks. <laughs> <laughs> but I have ice cream. You have ice cream. Okay. But enough computer. God, like a whole plan was to go to the airport <laughs> to chill. But now I'm looking at that. I mean. God, why are we always late? I honestly thought we'd be like way ahead of schedule, like going to the airport, eating lunch and everything. Perfect, I love a big car. That way we have plenty of space. Perfect. So we will be there at 1226. Yeah. And we fly what at 2? Oh, it leaves at 140 p.m. So we should be good. Cool. Cool. Time for once. <laughs> How many bags do you have? Well, this bag is filled with bags because we got a bunch of new bags. That's true. Bags in the bag. Yes. And my suit, which I brought to New York because I was going to Fashion Week, but that was way too warm <laughs> to use the suit there. Is there any chance for us to get seated together? Yeah, we'll check on board. Perfect. Thank you so much. I like it that there's no separate baggage tag. That's smart. Thank you. Let's you, go. you have the number of your baggage tag on the ticket instead. Way cool. smarter. I like that. Security check done. I love how there's no problem traveling with, with a drone in your pack. and We have like three drones and nine batteries. So. Let's see if we found a lounge. Virgin America, the loft. Breakfast bites. Let's go. Full bar, come on. Yeah, Taste. but does it say that? Tasty snacks. The best thing Marcus knows in this entire world is um, airline, airline lounges. Hello. Did you upgrade your first class? Yeah. Okay, so it doesn't include the lounge. Fail, fail. So when you upgrade on Virgin, you don't, you have to pay extra for the lounge. Yeah, we can get more food if we take those 30 bucks and buy food instead. Yes. Yeah, this looks better. Yeah. See a spicy sesame chicken wrap. Better than a burger. 100%. See, I'm not a, I'm not a Burger King guy. No. I'm more McDonald's. of a 
<laughs> in and out. Yeah. yeah. And Max Burger and Spilla. <laughs> but Yanni really enjoys healthy food. I really enjoy everything that's not healthy. <laughs> Me too. Is it really your name? No, but in the US I say John because it is easier to uh, to say easier than John. Normally it'd be Yoon. But Yoon is usually difficult at restaurants. Yoon? Swedish. So today I'm John. I like you better than John. I'm glad to hear that. You. You. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you so much. That is the first time someone preferred to call me uh, you instead of John. So my name is not John. This is unusual, Boris. We not being the last one on, ah. but it looks comfortable, like not waiting in line and stuff. True, but if you have a big seat, you might as well get on there. But if you have a small seat, you might as well wait in the terminal. Yeah, that's true. So hopefully we have a big seat. <laughs> And the auto system help you find your seat. They have everything cool. closed, so it's like cozy. Yes. It makes it hard to film. <laughs> <laughs> nice seats. Totally worth it. On the first row. <laughs> yeah. We're not on the back of the bus either. So Marcus is, how tall are you Marcus? 190. 190. So Marcus flies, when it's small, he's like, uh. Yes. And now I'm like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. See, this here is motivation to work hard, because if you can travel with seats like this, then life is good. Life is great, <laughs> so work harder and have a big seat. That's true. The motivation of the day. Yeah, no, I, seriously, like this motivates me to work. Good. Me too. That was a nice nap. <laughs> that was a long nap. Yeah, like a five hour nap. That's good, I needed it. Good. I've been getting up, see, I've been getting up at six. Up, well, not uploading, but doing the thumbnail and title every morning. So we've been working in shifts. Yes. So How was nice. the seat? Thumbs up. Good. <laughs> Do we have everything? Um, there's a huge question mark on everything. Um, no, no. No telephone. Hold on, I'll be right back to see if I can find it. <laughs> what did you forget? What's that? What did you forget? My cell phone! <laughs> now we have it! Yes. Is everyone as clumsy as we are when it comes to forgetting things? I don't think so. I think we are exceptionally bad. Stupid. Yes, and clumsy. We are bad. Not good. When has that ever happened that the first three bags are our bags? Never. Me Never. like. Yes. Let's go. I do think I have a room here, I hope. I don't have that either. You booked, didn't you? Book, that, that's one thing. Uh, the other thing is... My passport? Yeah, that's a problem. Stop looking at me, I didn't take it. Are you stressing out? I usually don't stress too much, but... Passport. Passport is one thing that you can't really, like, just figure out. At least I got mine. You have yours? Yes. So that's good for me. <laughs> 
<laughs> Sorry for laughing, like we can't do anything. No, at least I'm gonna learn how to get a new passport in New York. It's funny, you don't seem too worried at all that I don't have a passport, which I like. Why should I be worried? I mean, we are team, no problem. Yeah, but like, there is literally no problem. Hello, this is Yoon. I need the passport, yes. You can just call is someone. Easy? Yeah, you just How? call someone. See, like, now we have blocked with you. How easy is it to find a new passport in New York City? It's very easy. Is it? Yeah, of course it is. If Come it's on. Easy, then we're good. You gotta think of it this way. How many people loses their passports every single day? A lot of people. So, is it easy to get? Yes. Thank you. Like, we're a mess, Yoon. Come on. Like, mess is like. It doesn't even start to describe us. We are seriously the biggest mess in the world. What happened to us? We used to be like, pretty like on top of things. We used to be in control and then we lost it completely out of this world. Just fucking up shit. First of all, fingers crossed. Cross your fingers, come on, cross your fingers. That this room is bigger than the last one. If it's smaller, it will suck. Oh, this is like monster compared to that other one. But it's really dark. Ah, nice! We gotta go get the bags. No luck? No. Passport is officially gone. And with that, we are gonna end today's video vlog because we should stop stressing. Take a couple deep breaths and then we'll figure out how to get home from the States tomorrow. Yes. Bye-bye. Over and out from a little bit sad New York.